How's it going everyone? I'm back again. We've got a beautiful spring day here in North Dakota and we're going to do a little river fishing today. This river is more known for walleye and catfish as you can see the big catfish statue back there behind me. But for the past week I've been seeing people posting online that they've been catching smallmouth bass out here so the thought of hooking into some smallies was too much for me to resist. So I figured we'd come out here and give it a try. I've got my kayak all loaded up. Let's hit the water and see what we can catch. Away we go. So there's a few different spots out here that really look appealing to me. Back there behind me, we've got a bridge and then an island right behind that. There's also a dam right up around the bend upstream here. We're gonna start out up there. Those dams are always a good spot to find some fish hanging out, especially in the springtime. A lot of different species of fish will try to migrate upstream and they'll congregate below those dams. I'll show you guys what I'm going to start out with today. I've got, I believe that's a 3 16th ounce round head jig. And then one of these Kitek fat swing impact plastics. I've got a white color one kind of a white with some silver flake. The water's a little bit murky on this river, so generally whites, chartreuses, those brighter colors will work pretty well. That's usually what I'll throw out here too, just a jig and plastic like that. There's lots of snags, so I don't want to throw anything too expensive because I do plan on losing a few of those out here today to sticks and rocks on the bottom. Plus, just about anything will bite on that jig and plastic setup. Whether it's a swim bait style like these or a, a twisty tail, you can catch just about any kind of fish on them. That's another big appeal to me about river fishing is that you'll never know what you'll catch. Honestly, I'm hoping I can find some smallies out here today, but I'd be happy catching just about anything. Great day to be out here on the river. Let's go see if we can catch some fish. Hmm. No bites yet. Finding snags just about every cast. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> Most of the time, once I paddle up to it, my jig will bounce right off. That eddy up over here in that corner looks real nice though. We're gonna work our way over there eventually here. I'll try right off of the tip of that tree. Maybe we can lure a fish out of there or just find a snag. <laughs> yeah, that's probably what'll happen. No fish yet, just a whole bunch of snags. I've only lost one jig so far at least. Looks like we've got a real nice eddy up here on both sides of the dam though. Looks fishy. I just need to get my jig back. I think it's stuck on a branch sticking off this tree here, maybe. Okay, I don't think we're getting that one back. Well, no fish yet in the River's claimed three of my jigs so far. Hoping our luck turns around here though. Looks pretty good up here by the dam. We've got a nice eddy on both sides here. We'll give this side a try. The current was whipping pretty good over there on that other side. corner looks pretty nice back here though.
we go. Let's see if that tree branch will hold us still for a little bit. Something just hammered that jig right off the bank over there. Oh, and then he got off. Dang it, what was that? What was that? Is there a pile of smallies over there? That felt like a bass bite. It's a sign of life, at least. Been up here about a half an hour now. That was the first bite I had, but I've gone through about half my pack of Kitex to river snags. I just moved over to this side, though. I was fishing that other side over there. The current is a little bit much over there, so I don't know. Maybe the fish like it over here where it's a little bit more mild. Oh, I'm bummed. That one just hammered it pretty much as soon as it hit the water over there. It felt like a smally bite for sure. Either that or a pipe. There's one. Yeah, it's a bass. It's a smally. <laughs> Just a little one, but come here, you. Oh, yeah, we're on the board. Well, it only took about a half hour and half my pack of Kitex to find one. <laughs> nice little smallie. Good to see they're in here. No, I said I saw some reports that people were catching them out here, but... Sometimes I don't believe it until I catch one myself. Now I believe it. And of course, right after I caught that fish, I found a snag. So I'm just retying a new jig. Current's a little bit much, so if it snags up out there, I'm not going to go try to retrieve it. I'll try to pull it off the snag, but so far today, every time I do that, my line goes snap. So I've got three more Kitex left. Hopefully we can make them count. I will say I do kind of like that about this side, though. It doesn't seem nearly as snaggy as the other side where it's all rock rubble over there. I was getting snagged up every single cast and having to go get my jig off a rock. It seems like it's a little bit more of a muddy bottom over here on this side, which might be kind of a good thing for this time of year to absorb a little bit more of that sunlight, maybe warm up a bit more. I got something else on here. I was just swapping batteries in my GoPro. So I didn't get the hook set on them, but threw my jig right up along the bank over there again. Hey, that's a little bit better, Smalley. Look at that. Awesome. Now that is what I came out here for. Oh, look at that. He's got somebody else's jig in him, too. Yeah, I might leave that one. Looks like they left that for a reason. I might see if I can't do surgery on him here real quick. Get that other jig out of him. There we go. I got that other jig out of him. I'm sure he'll feel a lot better now.
All right, I ran out of Kytex. Had to switch over to a Bass Assassin, Little Boss, Silver Ghost color, pretty much identical to what I've been throwing. I was just about to pull up my anchor and start drifting downstream, and then I had a bite over here, so we'll give it a few more minutes at this spot. Then we'll probably float downstream. I don't know, like three of the five bites I've had over here were, I'd say, within three feet of the bank. So I'll probably just drift downstream and toss my jig at the shoreline as we go. Maybe work our way down to that bridge or the island. There's a couple of creeks that flow in maybe two miles downstream that look awesome on Google Maps. I just, I, I don't know if I want to float down that far and have to paddle back. Nothing there at the bridge. I'm going to keep paddling downstream. We'll try the back side of this island. It is really pretty back here. I'm tempted to keep floating downstream. It's going to be a long paddle back, but there's a couple of creeks that flow in a couple miles downstream. And on other rivers I fish smallies on in the springtime. Those creek mouths always have a ton of fish schooled up out in front of them, so. I'm debating. It might be worth the paddle down there. The current's not terrible once I got down from the dam a bit, so I don't think the paddle back will be too horrendous, but it's a good, I don't know, six or seven bends <laughs> downstream, so. If I'm gonna do it, I gotta make the decision quick because I've got about four hours of daylight left. Disturb you, Mr. Ducky. Not much of an eddy back here behind this island. All right, I made the call. I'm gonna keep paddling downstream. We've got maybe another mile to go. We're gonna go try one of the creeks that flows in down here. Didn't have any luck at the bridge or the island, but I've got high hopes for this next spot. Hopefully we find something. This is gonna be a long paddle back upstream. I'll have about a two and a half mile paddle against the current. Luckily it's not moving too fast down here away from the dam. I'll just kind of hug the shoreline on my way back and avoid a lot of the current that way. But hopefully this spot will give up some fish and it'll be worth the long paddle down here. Yeah, I've got a lot of stuff like that in this river, so I want to try to make it back before it gets dark. It's about five o'clock now. By the time we get down here, I'll have, I don't know, 45 minutes to an hour. I want to give myself a good couple of hours to try to make it back upstream. All right, we're coming up on our spot here. Fingers crossed there's some fish hanging out in front of this creek. Looks real good in here. Oh, that's not what I need to do. I think I caught my power pole with my jig there. Oh yeah, this looks real nice. Look at that. That jig was in the water for about a half a second. Yeah, I think this is gonna be worth the paddle down here. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's what I was hoping to find. Come here, you. Nice smolly. Hanging out right off the point leading in there. Yeah, this looks awesome. Got some scattered rocks. Well, it took about 35 minutes to float down here with the current, so I'm gonna leave myself a good hour and a half to make the paddle back. Big old dust cloud right there. I'm guessing there's probably a few carp back here too. I did paddle into that creek a little bit. It gets pretty shallow in there though. The water does seem a little bit warmer where it's coming out. Well, I think it might have just been that one lone smallie hanging out off that point leading into here. Really got my hopes up when I caught that one on the first cast at this spot. Figured we were about to hammer them, but I've been fishing my way around in here for about a half hour now and nothing else. So I think I'm gonna start paddling my way back upstream. I got a good hour and a half paddle in front of me to get back up to where I started from so we'll see if we have enough time when we get back there to paddle back up to the dam and give another try I might do that at least we found one there didn't get skunked at that spot all right I'm gonna get to paddling at least it's a really nice night out here for a paddle on the river. So right now I'm just paddling my way back upstream. I wanted to show you guys real quick how I do that. I kind of hug the one side of the river. You can avoid a lot of the current by doing that rather than trying to paddle out in the middle where it's moving pretty quick. Just got to keep an eye out for sticks and logs. I almost got myself stuck on one log already. <laughs> but I'm making good progress. We should have plenty of time to stop back at the dam and give it one more try. Well, I've almost made it back to my truck. You can see the bridge right up there. The boat launch is just on the other side of that. I'm not going to lie, I get a little bit anxious when I'm a couple miles downstream from my vehicle. <laughs> but I had no problem getting back up here. Still got a little bit of time. We'll go try up by the dam where I caught those two fish earlier. And hopefully we can add a couple more to the few that we've caught out here today. It's been a lot of paddling today and a little bit of fishing, but... I'm still enjoying it. It's a nice day to be out here on the river. What I'm really surprised is that I haven't found any pike over here in this spot. Something just hit my jig there though. There's one right off the bank over there. Love it when you toss the jig in just the right spot like that and instantly it gets thumped. Come on up here, little buddy. Just a little guy, but hey, I will take it.
Well, I gave it about 20 more minutes at this spot after I caught that last one. Nothing else. So I think I'm gonna call it a day. Paddle back downstream to my truck. Hey, it's been a fun day out here. Didn't really hammer them, but we found four smallies. Got to spend a beautiful day out here on the river. Any day on the river is a good day, if you ask me. So I enjoyed it. I hope you guys did too. Thanks for coming along with me again. I'll see you next time.